Hey guys, it's Saga from TechWorks and this is my unboxing and initial impressions video of the iPhone 12. Every time I get a new iPhone, I'm just as excited to unbox it as I was when I first unboxed my iPhone 4. This time I'm even more excited because these new iPhones bring back the flat sides of the iPhone 5. This right here is my favorite iPhone design and I'm really excited to see how the iPhone 12 will look in person with this new design. Make sure to watch the complete video because with my initial impressions, I have also shared a few image samples from the iPhone 12's cameras in this video. First off, just look at how tiny the box is. Here is the iPhone 11's box from last year for comparison. You all probably know this by now that Apple managed to make this box so thin by removing the charging brick and ear pods from the box. Yes, when other companies are proud to include a 65W charger with their phone, Apple has gone ahead and even removed the 5W charging brick from their box. Last year, when they gave us a 5W charger with the iPhone 11, Many people sarcastically said that they might not even give us a charger. And guess what? Apple took this way too seriously. If you want to know the reason behind it and what I feel about this stupid move from Apple, you should go and watch this video that I made a few days back. I will also leave a link to it in the description section right below that like button. Now I think this is the right moment I should remind you to hit the like button because that helps the video a lot. And YouTube analytics also tells me that 95% of the people watching these videos haven't subscribed to the channel yet. So if you guys could just go down and hit the subscribe button, that would mean a lot to me. With all of that out of the way, let us go ahead and unbox this iPhone 12. I love how easy Apple makes it for us to get into these boxes. You don't need a knife or cutter of any sorts. If it wasn't clear till now, I went with the blue colored iPhone 12 with 64 GB of storage. Now I will just open the lid which is easier to come off this time since the box is not very deep. First thing in the box is the iPhone 12 itself and oh my god, the flat edges feel amazing in the hand. I can tell straight away that this is so much more grippier than the rounded edges of the iPhone 11, 10s, or even the iPhone 6. Let me keep the phone aside for a moment while we take a look at other things in the box which as you might have guessed is not a lot. There is just this USB Type-C to lightning cable for charging and data transfer, some paperwork to help you get started a SIM tray ejection pin and a single Apple sticker. Yes, so the power brick and the ear pods are not the only things that are missing in the iPhone's boxes going forward. They have also removed one Apple sticker. Alright, now let me keep all these things aside and get back to the phone. We don't get a protective plastic covering the front and back. Instead, this time we get this white sticker which only protects the display of the phone. Let me go ahead and peel it off and see if it is still as satisfying as peeling the plastic from previous iPhones. It is not bad, but I would say it is not the same. I really love the design. It just looks like an iPhone 5, 5S and the original iPhone SE, but even better. And here is how it compares with the iPhone 11. With the same size display, iPhone 12 is smaller, thinner and lighter than the iPhone 11. And this time, it is even more resistant to dust and water. Taking a look around the device, the aluminium frame running all around gets the same color as the back of the phone and I think it looks really good. On the right side, there is a power button which sits a bit lower than it did on the iPhone 11 and I like that. There is nothing on the top edge and on the left side, we get the SIM tray, volume up and down buttons and a vibration switch. At the bottom, there is a microphone behind the grill on the left, a lightning port for charging and data transfer and a speaker grill on the right. The EAP speaker doubles as a secondary speaker to give us stereo and spatial audio experience. There is glass at the front and back. Apple says they have used a new tougher glass with ceramic shield coating for the front of the phone and for the back, we get the same level of protection as the iPhone 11. Now since the glass at the front and back is not curved and it sits flush with the sides of the phone, it should be much more resilient to damage if the phone falls down. I would still apply a good quality tempered glass screen protector right from the day one. In fact, I already ordered one even before I got the phone and I'm going to apply it right after I'm done shooting this video. If you would like to buy one for your phone, I will leave a link to it in the description section. If any of you are wondering, yes, this phone can stand up like this on its own. Under the ceramic shield protection, we still get a 6.1 inch display with a notch. But now it's a Super Retina XDR display like the Pros, which means it gets an OLED display and with a resolution of 2532 by 1170, it has twice as many pixels as the iPhone 11. Now after having used the iPhone 11 as my main phone for almost 4 months, and never once felt that its display lags behind in the pixel density. But many people did complain about it being a sub-1080p screen. 
But now with the iPhone 12, those people will have to find something else to complain about. The display supports HDR and has a peak brightness of 1200 nits while playing HDR content. Since it's an OLED display, Apple was able to string the bezels all around, but the notch at the top stays the same as it is. I'm not really bothered by the notch, but after seeing Touch ID make a comeback in the power button of the iPad Air 4, I was hoping to see it in the power button of this year's iPhones as well. Especially since we are wearing masks most of the time and it basically renders the Face ID useless. Just like the iPhone 11, there are dual 12 megapixel cameras at the back, one normal and one ultra wide. The ultra wide lens doesn't seem to have changed from the iPhone 11, but the normal camera gets a 7 element lens and a wider f1.6 aperture. And this time all the cameras, even the front facing one gets deep fusion and night mode. The selfie camera remains unchanged from the iPhone 11 and it is still a 12 megapixel sensor with f2.2 aperture. Most of the changes to the camera are directly related to the software and newer processor. Which brings us to the internals. Just like the iPhone 12 Pro, this one also gets an Apple A14 Bionic processor. But unlike 6GB RAM on the Pros, this iPhone 12 just gets 4GB of RAM. The A14 Bionic is built on 5 nanometer architecture, so it packs in a lot more transistors which allows it to do more computations and at a much faster rate. And all of this while being much more efficient than the previous generation chips. And yes, the new iPhones also come with 5G antennas, but since 5G is non-existent in India right now and is most likely going to be for the next year or year and a half, I don't really care much about it and you shouldn't either. For the software, it is running iOS 14 right out of the box. And combining that with the A14 Bionic processor, performance should be stellar on this iPhone 12 for years to come. The battery on this phone is a bit smaller than that on the iPhone 11 in terms of capacity, but thanks to a newer processor, Apple says you should be expecting the same amazing battery life that we got from the iPhone 11. But when the battery eventually runs out, you will have to just throw this phone away and get a new one. Just kidding. You will have to purchase a USB Type-C charger to use it with the included lightning cable which by the way costs 1900 rupees. All that being said, I really love this iPhone 12. It is smaller and much lighter than the iPhone 11 and just feels so good in your hands. This right here is my new favorite iPhone design. Now here are some of the image samples from the normal and wide cameras on the iPhone 12. This is not a camera review, but I still wanted to show you guys what these cameras are capable of. If you have been following my channel for some time, you know that I am working on a much detailed camera review of this phone and that video will be coming out in just a few days. Not just that, I actually have a lot of videos coming in the next few days and weeks, so make sure you have the notifications for this channel turned on. Until then, if you want to get the iPhone 12, I will really appreciate if you get it from the affiliate link in the description section. So what are your initial impressions about the iPhone 12 and which one of these is your favorite color? Let me know in the comments. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for a lot more coverage on the iPhone 12. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.